2.32. On any other day, Josh Seablack would have missed out on McDonald's breakfast, but not today. I feel great because I was actually craving um, McDonald's in the morning. It was actually after 11, but I actually Googled when um, breakfast is coming and by coincidence, today was the day. McDonald's has offered breakfast in Canada for more than 40 years. Now it's on offer at all hours. I can say it's the number one thing that we've heard from guests since we've been here in Canada. Um, we know that our guests love our iconic Egg McMuffin. Industry-wide, Canadians bought and ate more than 530 million breakfast sandwiches last year, according to data from NPD Group. Over seven to eight years ago, breakfast was the number one skip meal in home. So when we had the downturn in the economic uh, downturn in 2008, consumers stopped going out to restaurants more often at some of the more expensive day parts, the lunch and the supper, and started to gravitate towards breakfast. As restaurant chains try to squeeze out every penny they can, this move still comes at a cost. For McDonald's, as much as $13,000 per location. We did make some investments in the restaurant, a new toasters, new egg cookers. Stock's all good. But Toronto franchise owner Keenan Bridge says he was glad to do it. Being able to get an egg muffin in someone's hands, even at 11 o'clock at night or midnight when people are down celebrating, you know, I've been one of those champions saying, you know, we, we absolutely you know, need this. We absolutely have guests that are looking for this. So. But all day breakfast could do some damage and cut spending elsewhere. Bridge's new menu screen reads breakfast is the new lunch. One of the key challenges as these operators expand their breakfast day part is the cannibalization of some of the more expensive menu items. Plus, competition from rival restaurants is already heating up. A&W launches its all-day breakfast next week, and analysts expect other restaurants to join the burgeoning breakfast war as well. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.